Hey, my dining room is a little bit disorganized because we are getting ready for a major overhaul, uh, renovation of the main bathroom in the house. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Like I said in the bumper, my, or my, my dining room is disorganized. What we did is we purchased a walk-in shower kit. We're going to be taking out the bathtub shower combo unit out of our main bathroom. And we're going to be installing this four-piece tub shower a walk-in shower kit. No tub, just a walk-in shower. It does come with a glass door, sliding glass door, so we're eliminating the shower curtain. And this will make it easier for my mother-in-law to get in and out of the shower because it's, it's difficult for her to step over the edge of the tub, so we'll be able to just open the door and walk in. Now, the shower does, it, it's a, um, three-piece wall unit plus the pan is what you see right here this is the pan and then there's two end walls and then this back wall that you see behind me plus the shower door unit in addition to the shower kit that we're going to be installing we're also ordered three of these handle safety bars to be able to grasp a hold of and stabilize yourself we're going to be installing also a shower chair for the comfort of my mother-in-law it also would help my wife and i Becky, as we age, that we can get in and out of the showers a lot easier. But it completely eliminates a bathtub from the homestead. But you know me, I like to recycle, repurpose, upcycle, whatever I can do. I don't like to waste anything. So that mountain behind me, yeah, you've heard me talk about in brief uh, segments that I have intentions of building a tree house up there. I've got my pipes, I've got my I-beams. Uh, we're gonna be digging holes, setting in the steel pipes, welding the I-beams on, putting the flat, uh, platform on, and building a nice cottage tree house up there. And yes, I'm installing the bathtub and shower in the tree house so it'll be fully functional so i'm not wasting anything but for now the shower stall pieces occupy my dining room as they have for quite some time i've been trying to locate a contractor to come in and retrofit this take the tub out and replace it with the shower because I don't have a whole lot of confidence in myself to be able to do it a DIY, doing it myself. But for those of you who have been following my show for quite some time, you notice last summer was horrifically devastating. We had wildfires blow through our region and not only just level homesteads throughout the mountain regions around us, hundreds hundreds of homesteads ashes that was nothing compared to what happened to the communities just south of us yes two entire communities were completely leveled to ashes from two major wildfires that blew through and completely leveled them what does that have to do with my bathroom you may ask well our local region has just so many contractors and people that are bonded and licensed to be able to do jobs like this. With over 3,000 residences being destroyed, not counting the businesses, every one of those people are deployed to rebuild those communities. So it leaves me with the task of trying to figure out how to do this job myself. I have a lot of anxiety over this right now. I do. To be completely transparent and honest with you guys, I have a lot of anxiety with this. I usually don't mind rising to the challenge and trying something new, but for some reason I have this block. So with a lack 
of available um, talent. And believe you me, I have been on the phone trying to hire somebody for days, for weeks. I've been ghosted. It's frustrating. So now this is phase one, part one of the bathroom renovation. DIY, yep, I'm going to have to do it myself. So what I did, is I went down and bought a DeWalt special tool, oscillating tool, and it's going to help me cut the old bathtub. I'm going to carefully cut the old bathtub and shower out. We're going to remove it, and then I've got to carefully install the other tub and shower, or the other shower unit. I also have my handy dandy DeWalt screwdriver that I can remove some of the screws from the unit because I'm behind the drywall, this is screwed in and then we'll be able to screw the other ones in. So between these neat devices I got for Christmas from my lovely bride, we're got power tools to do the job right. And just in case I went down and picked up another style of saw blade, for the oscillating tool to help get this job done correctly. Plumbing is not my favorite feature. I've done it. I'm going to be forced to do it again. So my job in the next episode, which is part two of this phase one of just getting the bathtub out, we'll go ahead and do that on the next episode. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to do this in three phases, but each phase is going to have a couple of parts to it. This phase is just introducing the project and I'm showing you guys my tools that I need to do work with to get the project started and also sharing with you guys my anxiety. I'm just not ready for this, really. I just hope, I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I hope it comes out okay because I do have to do drywall, but with this project, I'm gonna try not doing plumbing. Uh, come in closer and I'll share with you guys exactly what I have plans as far as the plumbing goes. Nothing. I've decided I'm not gonna do a thing about the plumbing. The shower, we're taking this off and we're putting a regular shower head in. We're keeping this to save money. We're eliminating this, but I'm moving this feature down there. So when we're seated, it has the holder and we're able to just shower. This upper part will have a valve to it. The lower part will have a valve to it. So we'll be able to choose either or are both and so that's my intentions on um, putting in the new shower so we have something we can reach low once phase one is done it'll be in phase one will be part one removing the tub part two installing the new shower that's phase one phase two of our project will be uh, Gutting out the bathroom, we're removing the toilet, the vanity, the mirror, and we're going to be replacing the floor, putting a new toilet in. I'm going to be restoring the vanity. We're going to sand it down. I'm going to paint it. We're going to be putting new hardware on, matching hardware that's going to also match these towel bars and towel hooks. They're going to be all matching. The, uh, the mirror is going to be uh, disassembled, sanded down, and painted also. The whole bathroom is going to be trimmed and painted. And then also, in um, once the floor is down, the toilet's in, we go into phase three with adding the trim and a new ceiling. Look at this ugly ceiling. This is an ugly mobile home ceiling. This is a manufactured home. But I have a genius artistic design I'm going to share with you guys in phase three of this three phase project. Yes, we're going to do the ceiling. We're going to be doing trim. We're going to be doing paint. I also have these special art features that I created. These are three originals art features that I've created for my bathroom. This is called scratch board art. What do you guys think? 
I've been busy with my publishers, so we do have duplicate prints that I will be selling at the um, uh, both at the gallery, and I'll be able to sell them to you here online. You guys could just have to notify me on what pieces you want, if you want any, and have uh, have those in your collection. I'll send them to you just like this packaged and you pick out your own frames. So that will be the final phase of this project is the final decor. Stay tuned for the next part two of this phase one on taking out the tub. Part three of phase one will be installing the shower kit and then the safety bars. Uh, gonna try to do it myself, but this is the introduction video to this whole big DIY home improvement project. Like I said, I'm having a lot of anxiety and trepidation about starting this particular project. I've never had this done before. I've never experienced this before, but I'm gonna try my darndest to get it done and do it the absolute best I can. Stay tuned. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Benno's Hobby Farm. We're a humble little homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. The subtitle of my homestead is a frugal homestead, even though we're a hobby farm. So keeping it frugal, doing it myself. I, by the way, I purchased this shower kit from Lowe's. It came with, a, I purchased the drain and then I just got a couple of other uh, pieces to purchase. And hopefully as I do the project and I learn how to do the project, I share what I'm learning with you guys. So you too can upgrade your mobile home or your manufactured home with a beautiful bathroom upgrade just like I'm doing here. Please give us a thumbs up. Liking the show really helps and also if you haven't already, subscribe, then click that bell icon that's going to alert you to the new shows as I proceed through them. Uh, we're getting into the season where I'm going to be doing a lot of home renovations and a lot of uh, improvements outside of the homestead too. So it's not going to be just about wildlife and animals and garden and greenhouse. It's going to be tangible stuff that you can use on your urban home. Yep. We're going to do it right here and we're going to do it simple. We're going to do it as cheap and uh, efficient as possible. Hey, be safe and always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye bye.